I found her. She's just under me. Lightly. Be careful. You're okay now. Pigs produce different sounds when they suck, sleep, and get sick. The ET agricultural brain uses sound alerts to identify abnormal pigs. In the past, the accidental mortality rate of piglets was as high as 3%, which is now being reduced by more than half. My name is Su Chi Pong. I've loved animals ever since I was a kid, and even studied to be a veterinarian. I never became a vet though. Instead, I ended up as a pig farmer, and now people call me Dr. Pig. In the past, the growth of each pig was a handwritten record. It was time-consuming and labor-intensive. Now, it's different. Every pig born with an ID. You see, these are the pig ID, which automatically collects the pig's body data through the camera. It saves manpower and resources. During the time of spring and summer, we will rush the pigs to the sun, take a walk, and let them exercise to enhance their body. Then record the distance, time, and frequency of the pig's movement through the ET agricultural brain to fix the 45-minute jog run every day. If it don't reach the target, it will be retrained. Autumn and winter are the peak period of the pig epidemic. In the past few years, because of the swine plague, more than 100 heads of pigs died in a couple of nights. Seeing pigs that we took care of for half a year were gone at once. My heart suddenly collapsed. Now, the ET agricultural brain used infrared temperature measurement technology to detect the body temperature of pigs as an important basis for health. If the body temperature of the pig is abnormally high, the epidemic will be reminded and the technicians will prevent the treatment in advance. Voice alarms and intelligent disease control effectively improve the survival rate of pigs. The number of pig slaughter has increased from 22 to 25 last year, to 25 to 28 this year, with a 10% increase in revenue. In the future, shopping in the supermarket through the scan code can be traced from the birth of each pig, growing up to the entire table of the industry chain information. In the past few years, I have been able to apply what I've learned to my actual work and I feel a great sense of accomplishment. I hope that in the near future, with the help of the ET agricultural brain, our farmers will have more confidence 